Next, let us consider the change in profit sharing ratio on admission of a partner. Only the new partner's share is given. Say for example, A and B are equal partners. They admit C for one-fifth share. What is the new profit sharing ratio? If nothing is mentioned about the old partners, they have admitted C for one-fifth share. We do not know A and B will continue in what. If this is not mentioned, it is assumed that A and B will continue with whatever was their existing ratios. So what happens here in this case is that C is admitted for one-fifth share. C is admitted for one-fifth share. So what is the balance remaining? The balance remaining is 4 by 5 and 4 by 5 would be given to A and B in the same ratio that they had between themselves before C joined. They were equal partners. So they will get 4 fifth remains. A will get half of 4 fifth. B will also get half of 4 fifth. So how much is A's share now? It becomes 2 by 5 and B is also 2 by 5. <coughs> The new, what is the new profit sharing ratio therefore? 2 is to 2 is to 1. New profit sharing ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 1. 2 by 5, 2 by 5, 1 by 5. Same denominator. So 2 is to 2 is to 1 is the new profit sharing ratio. <clears throat> if we were to see 1 by 5th is the gain by C. And what is the sacrifice made? <coughs> it would be A's case. In A's case, the sacrifice would be 2 by 5 is the new ratio. The old ratio was 1 by 2. Old ratio was 1 by 2. Mind you have changed it. This is old ratio. This is new ratio. So, suppose we were to find out the sacrificing ratio. Sacrificing ratio, let's take of A. What is sacrificing ratio? It would be equal to old ratio minus new ratio. So, in case of A, in case of A, what is the old ratio? 1 by 2. What is the new, new ratio? 2 by 5. How do you deduct? 2 and 5. I just multiply. I can take a common an LCF. In this case, 2 and 5 multiplied by multiplied, I got 10. 10 divided by 2, I get 5 minus 5 divided by 10, 2 into 2, that is 4. Therefore, I get 1 by 10 as the sacrificing ratio for A. In case of B, again, it's the same thing. 1 by 2 minus 2 by 5, LCM of 10, 2 divided by 10, 5 into the numerator, 5 minus 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2 into 2, that is 4, again 1 by 10. So sacrifice of A, 1 by 10, sacrifice of B, 1 by 10, 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10, 2 by 10 or 1 by 5, is the gain for C. Is the gain for C. A and B sacrifice on admission and C gains 1 by 5. 1 by 10 sacrifice by A. 1 by 10 sacrifice by B. <clears throat> Next case. New partner purchases his share from old partners in a particular ratio. A and B share Profits in the ratio of 5 is to 3. They admit C for 1 6 share in profit. C acquires this share as 1 8 from A and 1 by 24 from B. What is the new profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio? So A and B share profits in the ratio 5 is to 3. 
So what is the ratio? 5 by 8 and 3 by 8. 5 is to 3. 5 plus 3, 8. That's the denominator. 5 by 8 and 3 by 8 is the ratio, profit sharing ratio of A and B. Now when C comes in, C comes in for one sixth share and C acquires this share as one eighth from A and one by 24 from B. So this was old ratio. One eighth is taken from A. So the new ratio is going to be five by eight minus one by eight. And in case of B, it is going to be 3 by 8 minus 1 by 24. So how much is that? Again, common LCM is 8. So I get 5 minus 1 equal to 4 by 8. In case of B, 3 by 8 minus 1 by 24, the common LCM is 24. <coughs> 8, 24 divided by 8, I get 3, 3 threes are 9, minus 24, 1 into 1, 1 equal to 8 by 24. <clears throat> what is C's ratio? What does C stand to gain? C comes in for 1 sixth share. 1 6 share which is nothing but 1 by 8 plus 1 by 24. If you see 24 is the LCM, 24 divided by 8 is 3 plus 1 equal to 4 by 24 or 1 by 6. So C gains 1 6, A loses 1 8 and B loses 1 by 24. C gains 1 by 8 plus 1 by 24 or 1 by 6. <clears throat> Next. Existing partners surrender a particular portion of their share. A and B share profits in the ratio 5 is to 3. C is admitted as a partner. A surrenders one-fifth of his share and B one-third of his share in favor of C. What is the new profit sharing ratio and sacrificing ratio? A surrenders one-fifth of his share, B surrenders one-third of his share. So let us see, A, what was his ratio? His share in profit was 5 by 8. 5 is to 3. So 5 by 8 is for A and for B it is 3 by 8. 5 by 8 and 3 by 8. Now A has surrendered one-fifth of his share. So what has he surrendered? He surrenders one-fifth of 5 by 8 or he surrenders 1 by 8. This is what he surrenders. And similarly, B surrenders one-third of his share of 3 8. He also surrenders 1 by 8. So what is the new ratio? 5 by 8 minus 1 by 8. I take a common, the LCM as 8 and get 5 minus 1 equal to 4 by 8 or half and this is the new ratio and in case of B it is 3 by 8 minus 1 by 8, 3 by 8 minus 1 by 8 giving me 2 by 8. So what is the new ratio? New ratio is 1 by 2 and 1 by 4 and C has come in for 1 by 2. C, what is C's ratio? C's ratio must be 
one by eight sacrificed by a one by eight sacrificed by b equal to two by eight or one by four. equal to 1 by 4. If I convert this to have this common multiple, same common multiple, I get 2 by 4. So what is the ratio now? 2 by 4, 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. New ratio or it is 2 is to 1 is to 1. So these are different ways in which the profit sharing ratio may have to be computed in case of admission. <clears throat> if nothing is mentioned, it is presumed that the old partners continue the same profit sharing ratio between them as they had before the partner was admitted. Otherwise, specific instructions are given to us how the share has been either surrendered or purchased by the new partner, <clears throat> surrendered by the old partners or purchased by the new partners.